what's going on guys this is going to be a quick video inside of affinity publisher just to demonstrate how you can use a data merge tool with qr codes and why this is such a great feature so before we go ahead and get started i just want to quickly mention that as of the 5th of november 2024 this feature is currently in beta however depending on when you guys are watching this video you may already have this feature available in your current version of affinity publisher if you find that you don't have this feature available yet and you want to give it a try, then all you've got to do is log into your Affinity account and just download the beta version for free. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So if you pay attention to the screen in front of you, you can see I put together a quick design. This is just going to be a business card as a demonstration of how this feature works. And this is just made up of a few different shapes I've put together and just a background image and just some text down here at the bottom and an icon of a computer. So the general idea of using data merge is so that we can use a single design such as this one we have right here and apply this business card to every person that works in your company. So for instance, in just a moment, we'll go ahead and we'll add a name and a job description and a QR code to this. Then using data merge, we're going to be able to change the name, the job description and the QR code URL. So what we'll do first of all, we'll head over to the left hand side toolbar menu and we'll go ahead and grab the frame text tool. And we'll just drag that out over here and I'm going to put in a name and a job description. So just to be quick, I'll go ahead and just write in my name in here. Then underneath that, I'll just put a random job description. Next, I want to select all of this text so I can bring it a little bit closer together so we don't have such a big gap. So I'm going to go up to the top menu bar inside the paragraph leading. I'm going to go ahead and just change that to zero. Go ahead and hit enter. Then with graphic designer, I want to make that text a little bit smaller than my name. So I'll go ahead and just adjust that to something a little bit smaller, maybe somewhere around 10 points. Then I'll select all of that and possibly change the font as I'm not over keen on that one. So I'll go for that font right there. Then I'm just going to go and move this into place roughly into the center of the rectangle. Maybe make that a little bit smaller just so it's easier to get that in the center of where I want it. Then what we're going to do now is bring in our QR code over in this square on the right hand side. So if we make our way back over to the left hand side toolbar menu and just select our QR code icon right here. If you guys don't see that, just hold this down inside of your shape menu and you'll find your QR code tool right at the bottom. Go ahead and select that. Then what I'm going to do is find the center of this square as I plan to use the square right here as a background so we can see it's a little bit clearer. So once I found the center, I'm going to go ahead and just start to drag that out and get that as big as I want, leaving the border around the outside. So something like that's perfectly fine. What I want to do next is change the color of this because right now it's black. So we'll need to go ahead and turn that to white. So using the color wheel on the top right hand side, we'll go ahead and change that from black to white. And that is all we have to do inside of Affinity Publisher for the moment. So what we're going to do next is go inside of Microsoft Excel. For any of you guys who don't have Microsoft Excel, you can use any spreadsheet software that you may have. As long as you can go ahead and export that as an Excel file, you are good to go. OK, so all we have to do inside of Excel or any other spreadsheet software that you guys might be using is just add all the relevant data that we need for our business card, such as all the individual names of everybody that works in your company, as well as their job description and their personalized QR code URLs whether that is for their email address, their social media accounts, or any other data you would like stored inside of that QR code. So what we'll do first of all, is just up here inside of A on number one, we'll go ahead and we'll just type in name. Then next to that inside of B, we'll go ahead and just write in job description. Then finally inside of C, we'll go ahead and we'll just type in QR code. Then what I want to do before I continue is just make these cells a little bit bigger so we can see the names and the job descriptions and the QR code URLs a little bit more clearer. And the way that we do that is just by dragging in between A and B, for instance, just to make that A a little bit bigger so we can read all the names. And we'll do the same thing with column B. Go ahead and just drag that over so we can make out all the job descriptions. And we'll do the same with the QR code URLs. Then all we need to start doing from here is adding any random names that you would like for as many people as you like, as well as their job descriptions and their QR code URLs. So just to be a little bit quicker with the video, I'll go ahead and speed this up and fill this out and I'll see you guys in just a moment. 
Okay, so this is what I've come up with and all this is right here is a list of random names and job descriptions and URLs that I found on Google. However, this should look very similar to what you guys have. You should have your first and last name as well as their job description and their personal URL. And you can have as many different names inside of here as you like. I've only used nine just to be a bit quicker with the video. So once you've created your list just like this, we'll go ahead and we'll hit file. We'll go and choose save as and we'll give this a name. I'll just name this business card details and I'm going to save that to my desktop. So I'll go ahead and hit save. Now what we need to do is go back into Affinity Publisher. Then from here, what we need to do now is bring in the file that we just created. And in order to do that, we're just going to go up to our top menu bar to where it says Window. Then we're going to go down to where it says Data Merge Manager. Inside of here, we're going to select this option right here on the bottom left hand corner that says Add Data Merge Source. Inside of here, we'll go ahead and find the file that we just created and go ahead and double tap and import that. And just for the moment, we'll go ahead and we'll close this dialog box as we don't need it for the moment. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come over to our name and I want to just highlight my name right here. So I'll go ahead and select Matthew Ward. Then next, I want to head up to my top left hand side corner to where I have the fields tab. If you guys don't see your fields tab, then simply go up to your window menu. Go down towards the bottom to where it says references and just make sure you turn on fields and you'll also have access to this menu. So inside of our fields tab, you can see just down here inside of our data mode section, you can see we have this right here that says name, job description and QR code. And this is the data that we just created inside of that file. As you can see, if we go back into Excel, we have name right here, job description and QR code. And that's just copied that right there. So with my name selected, what I want to do first of all is I want to double tap right here where it says name. And now you can see my name is updated to what we have right here. You can go ahead and just ignore that for the moment. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the job description. So we'll go ahead and we'll select that job description text. Go ahead and just double tap on job description. Then finally, what we need to do is we're going to grab our move tool and we're going to select the QR code. We need to go up to the top menu bar with our QR code selected inside of where it says data. Then inside of this pop up window, we need to change the type from URL all the way down here at the bottom to data merge. And now we have access to that fields menu that we have over here with the information that we just created. So we have name, job description and QR code. However, inside of here, we're going to ignore name and job description. We're going to choose QR code as that's the information for our URL. Then we can go ahead and just hit OK. Then what we need to do next is go back into our window menu, open up Data Merge Manager. And I'm just going to move this out of the way a little bit so you guys can see how this will change. What we're going to do is we're going to turn on preview with record. And once we do that, you're going to see this name's going to change and the job description. So I'll go ahead and I'll select that. So using preview with record will generate all of the names that we have inside of our Excel file so we can make sure everything is working perfectly. So you can see we have the name and the job description and the URL for that specific person. We can make our way through all the different names using these arrows right here. So you can see that once we start tapping these, the name will change the job description and the QR code changes also. And you can make your way through all of those and see how it changes in real time. And if you guys was to scan these QR codes with your phone, you would see it would navigate to the URL address that we have inside of our spreadsheet. So all that's left to do now is to create an individual card that we can print for every single person inside of our list. And the way that we would do that is by simply using this generate button right here. Once we go ahead and we hit generate, you can see that Affinity has just created a brand new project inside of a new tab over here on the right hand side. If we just tap back on the one on the left hand side, this is our original design that we started with. But moving on to the new one that Affinity Publisher created for us using that generate button. Inside of here, if we go ahead and we select pages on the left hand side, you can now see we have an individual card for each one of the people on our list. And we can make our way through these using our mouse by heading up or down. I'll zoom out a little bit so you guys can see this a little bit easier. So there at the bottom, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they are all the eight people that was on my list. And you can see that we have all the different names and job descriptions and the QR codes have their own URLs and they are different from each other. And like I said before, if you guys were to scan any of these QR codes with your phone, it would take you to a specific website that we put inside of our spreadsheet. 
So with all of our individual cards now created, all we need to do is go up to file, just head down to print, and then we can go ahead and just print these off one by one. However, if you guys do plan on printing these at home, then you would want to go ahead and change your paper size to be the size of a business card. And you can do that just by using custom sizes at the bottom. If you don't already have one as a preset inside of your preset menu. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys found it useful and you've learned something new. If you did, then please go ahead and hit that like button as that really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and helps other people find my content. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button as I'm on a personal mission to try and reach 10,000 subscribers and I'm around 7,000 already. So that would be a massive help if you guys could help me out with that. But for now, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.